I was airdropped over $4,000 in crypto for free and I received this crypto for simply owning an ENS domain and I wasn't the only one. There were people that were airdropped 10,000 in crypto, 20,000 in crypto, 30,000 in crypto, $40,000 in crypto and even more. And this wasn't the only big airdrop in crypto history. In the past, early users of Uniswap were airdropped 400 Uniswap tokens as a reward. And if held to today, it would be worth over $10,000 worth of Uniswap tokens. Also recently, IMX released a token and they also rewarded their early users. Another project that rewarded early users was DYDX and they airdropped over $1 billion in tokens to past users. And I'm always asked the question, how do you receive these airdrops? And the simple answer is use DeFi. And I'm gonna break that down for you to make it more practical. These tokens that are given, part of these airdrops, are not given as an incentive to bring new people into the project, but it is the opposite. They are given as a reward to the people that took a chance on the project early on, the people that actually helped build up the project into what they are today. These tokens that are given out to these early users, these airdrop tokens, are typically governance tokens, or at least have some form of governance, meaning that the owners of these tokens will help govern the future protocol. And the developers, the creators of these projects and these tokens, they don't wanna give these tokens out to anyone. They wanna make sure that these tokens are in the hands of true believers of the project. Most people that receive airdrops had no idea that they were going to receive the airdrop. This ENS domain, for example, I simply was participating in DeFi just because that's what I wanted to do. That was my primary goal. And then in the end, I was rewarded with this token. I really had no idea that I was going to receive this token. And this is how it often is for these protocols. People use them, they take a chance, they spend a little money, they interact, and then later on, they are rewarded. The owners of these projects, they don't wanna just give these tokens out to people that are looking for money. Because in the end, you have these people who don't really believe in the project, they don't want to even hold on to these tokens for more than a day. And in the end, you just have a failed project. So these tokens end up in the hands of the early true believers. And by the way, if you did own an ENS domain before October 31st, you can claim your ENS tokens up until May of 2022. I will leave a link down below so you can go ahead and claim your free ENS tokens. So when it comes to these airdrop tokens, I've spoken about it in the past. In a video I made over nine months ago, I said, hey, just go ahead and use DeFi. You never know what's going to happen. And in that video, I spoke about DYDX. You go ahead, connect your wallet, interact. Who knows, maybe you will receive an airdrop. In the end, there was an airdrop. And something very key here is there is no guarantee. Projects don't come out and say, hey, use our protocol in the future, we'll have an airdrop. They just simply come out with a protocol. They say, go ahead and use it. And then later on, if they do have a token airdrop, it is given to the early users as a surprise. Now, the downside about using protocols, especially on Ethereum, especially right now, is gas fees, right? Even going ahead and using a protocol, making a simple swap, can cost you a few hundred dollars. Even this ENS domain, right? Again, I had no idea I was going to receive an airdrop. I wanted to participate. I bought an ENS domain between the domain and gas fees, it was a few hundred dollars. So these free airdrops are not really free. You do have to put up some money in the beginning and also put up some of your time. And when using DeFi, the primary goal is just to use DeFi so that you learn, grow your knowledge base. This in itself will help you make more money in the long run. These airdrops is just an added bonus. The most important thing is just using DeFi for the sake of using DeFi. Another project that I spoke about in that video nine months ago was OpenSea. This is another protocol that is very popular, people use. They don't have a token. Will they have a token in the future? I have no idea, and that's the whole point of this video. Use protocols to use protocols. Maybe in the end, you will be rewarded. OpenSea, NFT platform. I'm a fan, I participate, I connect my wallet, I interact. So in the future, if they do have an airdrop, then I will receive tokens, and if they don't have an airdrop, I'm still happy because I get to use OpenSea and just knowing how to use OpenSea has helped me make a lot of money. So these are two projects on Ethereum and there's many others out there that people use that don't have any tokens and you will need a self-custody wallet to participate. 
I do think MetaMask is one of the best ones. I do have a link down below tutorial on how to set up a MetaMask wallet. Then you can fund it and then you can interact with these protocols. So this is on Ethereum right now, definitely more expensive, right? Even if you're going to do a free transaction on a protocol, just to be kind of eligible for that protocol in the event they have a airdrop in the future, you still will have to pay these fees, you know, 50, 100, $200 in gas fees. Another platform that maybe will have airdrops in the future is Solana. Again, will they have airdrops? I have no idea, but that's the whole point here. I use DeFi to use DeFi. Maybe I will be rewarded in the end. So I have a phantom wallet. I loaded it up with Solana and I've interacted with Solana protocols for NFTs, for example, Solana Art or Digital Eyes or Magic Eden. I have used these protocols and maybe in the future, they'll have an airdrop and I'll be rewarded. And if they don't have an airdrop, I'm still happy because just knowing how to use these protocols has already helped me make money. So if you don't know how to set up these wallets, I have links down below on how to set up a MetaMask wallet and how to set up a Solana wallet as well. Also, who knows, maybe in the future, as Cardano and DeFi grows within their ecosystem, there'll be some airdrops as well, right? But you will need a self-custody wallet. So I'll leave a link down below on how to set up a Cardano wallet as well. So use DeFi for the sake of using DeFi and maybe in the end, you will be rewarded. Like the video, thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.